everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Story Time with Diane Coke. Today's story is The Berenstain Bears Gossip Gang. Lizzie and Susie were Sister Bear's best friends. They liked doing all sorts of things together. They rode bikes and jumped rope. Sometimes they just sat around and talked. They talked about TV shows and toys, about games and songs, about pets, parents, brothers and sisters, and of course, their other friends. Did you get a load of that new cub in school? Asked Susie. His name is actually Teddy Bear. The others laughed. Susie had been a new cub not so long ago, but she didn't seem to remember. Well, I saw Anna Bruin the other day, said sister, and you know, I think she put on some weight. She looks sort of chubby. Lizzie and Susie giggled. The three friends talked for a while longer, but it was soon dinner time. See you, said sister heading home. She liked talking to Lizzie and Susie about other cubs. It made her feel special and in the know. Back home, mama and papa were setting the table. Brother and sister joined them. Do you know what Herb the mailman told me? Papa said to Mama as he laid the silverware. I can't imagine, said Mama, busy putting out plates. He said someone saw Mayor Honeypot throwing a banana peel out his car window. Imagine the mayor himself, a little bug. Now, Papa, said Mama, you know, that's just gossip. You shouldn't spread stories like that. Papa looked a little ashamed. I guess you're right. It was just so interesting. As they sat down to dinner, sister had a question. Mama, she asked, what's gossip? Well, Mama, Mama began, gossip is when we tell stories about others especially stories that make them look bad. It's something we do to make ourselves feel special. It can be very hurtful. As the Bible says, gossip separates close friends. Oh, said sister worried. She thought maybe saying that Anna looked sort of chubby was gossip. She decided not to think about it anymore. The next day, Sister saw Lizzie and Susie walking ahead of her on the way to the playground. They were busy talking and didn't notice Sister coming up behind them. As Sister drew near, she overheard them talking about her. Do you know what Anna told me about Sister? Began Lizzie. No, what? Asked Susie eagerly. She saw Sister's spelling quiz when teacher Jane was handing back the papers and it was marked 60%, 60%, very poor, said Lizzie. When sister heard that, she stopped short. In the first place, it wasn't true. Her quiz was marked 70% fair. And in the second place, why were Lizzie and Susie gossiping about her? They were supposed to be her best friends. She felt so bad, she hid behind a tree until Lizzie and Susie were out of sight. As sister came out from behind the tree, Brother Bear walked by. He was on his way to play catch with Cousin Fred. Why are you hiding behind a tree? He said. I didn't want Lizzie and Susie to see me said sister. Why not? He asked. Because they were gossiping about me and I heard, said sister. I was so embarrassed. I'm sorry, said brother. Why don't you come along with me and play catch with Fred? 
so they did. At the playground, they started tossing the ball around. Sister could see Lizzie and Susie on the swings nearby. They waved and Sister waved back. Then she got angry. You know what I heard about Lizzie? She called loudly to Fred. I heard that she is a big silly dope. Huh? Said Fred. And you know what I heard about Susie? She yelled even louder. I heard that she is a funny faced noodle brain. Sister, said brother. When Lizzie and Susie overheard sister, they jumped off the swings and came charging over. Why are you saying bad things about us? They yelled. We thought you were our best friend. That's just what I thought, said sister. But I heard you gossiping about me on the way here. Oh, said Lizzie. She hadn't thought about it that way. I guess you're right. We were gossiping about you. I'm sorry. Me too, said Susie. Sister got over being angry right away. After all, Lizzie and Susie were her best friends. That's okay, she said. Maybe it would be better if we just didn't gossip about anyone. As it says in the Bible, said Fred, the tongue also is a fire. What's that supposed to mean? said sister. Just like gossiping is like playing with fire, said Fred. You can get burned. A game of baseball would be more fun than gossip, suggested brother. Yes, added sister. Let's play ball. And they did. The end.